everybody welcome back to my channel I am Meg and if you're new here welcome so today I am showing you a modern dresser and I'm just taking out of my unit and this is the piece it is so cute I absolutely love it and I knew exactly what I wanted to do I managed to fit two dressers into my van from my unit and I'm just taking this piece out now Here's a closer look at this dresser. I love the legs. The top was so beautiful. It does have laminate, like wood veneer on top. And there was some paint that needed to come off. The drawers were pretty clean and it had dovetail joints. So there was solid wood. And I just thought it was absolutely cute. So I did change the hardware. So I took the hardware off first using my little mini uh, screwdriver set. And this screwdriver is magnetic and I know some ha people had asked about it so I will put it in my description. I was cleaning the drawers out and found a bar of soap from the body shop. <laughs> Always check the drawers and the backs. I then put some wood filler on the sides because there was a few spots that were peeling. And so I also noticed that the top trim was peeling at the front so I had added glue into there and I'm using this new glue called LePage no more clamp glue I love it it's like a gel I think I've shared this before in my videos and you don't have to clamp it some pieces yes I have had to clamp just for a few seconds to hold it but this worked really well I took my sanding disc and started to sand the wood filler parts just where as soon as it had dried making sure it was really nice and smooth. I then took my sander and sanded the top just to take off any bumps like the paint and just giving it a sort of scuff sand. I had an idea to do something to the drawers and so I sanded down two drawers to raw wood and you'll see why very soon. I then, once everything had been sanded and cleaned, scuff sand, I then took my cottage paint furniture prep spray and sprayed the entire piece and then leaving it for a minute and then using a damp cloth or my water bottle sprayer and just spraying with water to take off any excess so that there isn't any cleaner left over. I sprayed all of the edges and the inside trims. This is a small bottle, but you can get larger bottles. And it doesn't have an odor. I find it takes off a lot of the dirt, which is great. You can take a damp cloth, like I said, or spray water on, and then it just takes off all that dirt, as you can see here. And that's my spray bottle, and I just spray water onto the wood, and it just takes off any excess cleaner.
I got my little vacuum when all the drawers were out and then I just vacuumed the bottom and getting all of the dust out and any cobwebs. And then I got a damp cloth and just cleaned the bottom because it was very dusty. Once I had done that, I wrapped the drawers with painter's plastic tape and then I could start to paint, uh, prime. I used my sprayer to prime all of the edges, the sides, and the top. This is the Kills Restoration Primer. I will put that in my description as well. It is amazing for bleed through and I knew this piece was going to have a bit of bleed through. I did about two coats of the primer, sanding in between coats with 220 grit sanding discs or paper. I thought I was going to sand the top down to raw wood, but it turns out that it is wood laminate and so I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to sand through it and it be MDF underneath. so. I ended up spraying the top. You can see a bit of bleed through coming through. It's very patchy. And so I did two to three coats of the primer realizing that I already knew that I would get bleed through, but that was through the first coat. So usually through the first coat, you do get bleed through and then by second and third coat, it goes away. So once everything was dried, I noticed where I had glued the trim that there was a crack there or a line from the trim from it peeling so I got some wood filler and just filled in that whole area there so that you wouldn't see the line I also did a couple of spots on the top because I noticed there was really deep wood grain lines and so I just filled those in with a little bit of wood filler so that you wouldn't see them coming through the primer or paint. And once all that was dried I got my sanding block and the 320 sanding disc and just wrapped it around the block and then started to sand until it was really smooth. I also had to fill in one of the holes for the hardware because the hardware that I was using didn't fit. So I used my wood filler again and just filled in those holes. I then started to spray my paint on, which is, this color is called Burnt Embers by Cottage Paint. I'll put the link in my description. And I also have a code for 10% off for this paint. I loved this color and it was perfect for this piece. I did about two coats of the paint. and then spraying the front, the legs, and all of the trim areas. I then sprayed the top. I usually use my Wagner Flexio 5000, which is a different sprayer 
than this one, but this one is the home decor Wagner sprayer where it's a little bit smaller, but the flow is really, really nice. And also because it's for small projects, this dresser, I only had to paint the trim, the sides and the top, and it was a really small surface to, to be painting. And I just thought this sprayer would be perfect for it. So I sprayed this one drawer once the wood filler had dried and I sanded it. And then on another drawer, I was adding a stencil. So as you may have realized or noticed, I'm doing a design or something different on each drawer. So I took my mini roller and just rolled on the paint onto the stencil and then I did the same on the other side as well. And on the painted drawer on another one, I put this designed tissue paper. I had already cut it out to size and then used my ha handheld steamer just to take out the lines and the wrinkles from where it was folded in the package. That way it goes on much nicer and you won't have any bubbles or lines or any wrinkles. I then brushed on Country Chic Paint Clear Coat on the bottom of the drawer and then once I had completely covered that drawer surface, I then put the tissue paper onto that clear coat so that it sticks and adheres. And then you'll see me brush the clear coat on top of the tissue paper. I had already primed this drawer and then I rolled on the paint for this drawer which is just a white off-white color and it's called crinoline and I rolled on the paint onto this drawer and I did about three coats of the paint.
So once I had put all the drawers in to see what it looked like, it was looking really awesome. It was time to top coat. So I used my Wagner sprayer to top coat the entire dresser, making sure that it was sealed. And I did have to get underneath the dresser to get the back legs and all of the trim and in between each drawer. The tissue paper I didn't go over because it had already had clear coat on it. It was then time to do the hardware, but the hard the screws were a bit too long, so we cut those to make them shorter and then added the new hardware. Here is what the dresser looks like looked like before. And you can see that it's a great structured piece, dovetail joints, loved it, but it needed a makeover. And this is what it looks like now. I think it turned out so beautiful. This piece actually sold in two days after me posting it and they came to pick it up and off they went to their new home with this dresser. I think it looks so cool. Thank you so much for watching and I will have a new video out next Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Please subscribe to my channel, like and comment and let me know what you think. Thank you and take care.